Hi folks, this is Donnie D. Um, a few years ago, I acquired this rifle here that you see. I obviously got it out of the stock. <clears throat> I don't remember if I bought it, traded it, what. Um, but it's some sort of a Mauser is all I know. I think it's some type of a Spanish Mauser, but that still leaves a lot to be, a lot of room to, to find out more details on. Uh, what I'm going to do is, there's all kinds of markings on here, but there's no way for me to show them to you with the camera. So what I've done is I've made a drawing of each of the markings that I've been able to find on here. And I'm sure I probably missed some of them. Uh, so I'm going to show you a picture of the marking and th then show you where I found that marking. So stand by one. All right, this is the first one. And I don't know if it's this way, this way, or this way, but it's under the bolt release. It's going to be the hardest one to show you, so I'm going to kind of pick the thing up here. But uh, here's my bolt release right here, and if you pull it and pull the bolt release open, that marking is right down there on that plate right there, and it disappears up under the action when you release the, the bolt release. But that's where that one is and like I said that's this marking right there okay the next mark is on the port side it's this mark right here it's kind of a uh, I think that this part right here may should have a top on it and it's just worn out uh, and this right here is all, I don't know, it's about an eighth of an inch, something like that. I don't know what it is. It was like a, almost like a diver down flag, if you will. And it's on the port side at the, at the rear of the boat. Right there. Right along in there. All right. Stand by. All right, this next mark. To me, it looks like a P inside of a semicircle, or possibly it's supposed to be a complete circle, and the bottom part of it wore, is worn off with a 316 beside it. Uh, it's located on the port side of the action. I'm not even sure that's a P. If, if It's either a P or some sort of a symbol. And like I said, it's on the port side of the, uh, the action, right there. Again, it's this one right here, okay? Oops, sorry. Now this next mark looks like a N or a Z. It's about an eighth of an inch square. I'm not even gonna try to show you where it comes, uh, where I find it because it's located on several places on uh, the uh, gun. So not even gonna try to tell you where that is. It's just all over the doggone thing. Probably a, at least a dozen places. Okay, this mark here, I'm not even going to try to tell you where because I don't remember. I know I found it, I don't know, probably a couple of years ago when I was messing with the gun, and now I can't find it. I just know somewhere it's on this gun. It's about an eighth of an inch diameter. And also, this uh, thing right here with that number under it, um, I don't know, I can't remember where I find that, and I can't find it now. But anyway, that's two more markings that are on the gun. And by the way, before I forget it, this gun, this rifle is chambered in 308. I'm assuming that was something that was done, you know, after the gun was made. I have no idea what it was originally, and maybe it was 308 originally. I don't know. I just know that it's chambered in 308 now, or 762 by 51, which I guess is pretty much the same thing. Uh, this right here, this A385 with what looks like to be an S is right up under the floor plate, what I call the floor plate of the magazine. And it's located, let me get my pencil, right under where that screw goes, right there. And by the way, I had a time getting that screw out, but I finally did. I got it out years ago when I was messing with the gun and took the stock off, but boy, this time I had a time getting it, but I finally got her. 
but anyway this by the way is the uh, magazine and the <coughs> trigger guard and all that kind of good stuff and right up under that floor plate is where that number there was okay this uh, z uh, looks like a Z4 I'm pretty sure that's what it actually is um, is located whoops sorry right up here under the action right about there um, it's a Z4 that right there okay I lost one of my cards but here's the, the rifle and there's a number stamped on right about halfway down the barrel right there 2XFS is what it appears to be 2XFS stamped right there except it's upside down this is the top of the barrel but the top of the number the number's upside down relative to the to the barrel 2XFS and finally of the stuff that I've been able to find this R right here I'm assuming it's an R or some weirdo something that looks like an R upside down something like that anyway it's an R and it's right up here on this what may or may not be an original front sight I don't know but it's uh it's stamped right there kind of dim but right there uh, right next to this little pin here and like I said, I'm not sure that site is original. I'm pretty doggone sure that one's not original. But anyway, just a quick look, another little quick scan of the uh, of the gun. Like I said, I obviously took it out of the uh, stock that it was in because that obviously was not original. It's some piece of crap wood stock somebody came up with. There's the uh, the rifle itself. And here's the magazine and the trigger guard assembly all in one piece here. Um, like I said, I hopefully somebody on here will uh, know enough about Mausers that maybe you can help me out, help me figure out uh, what I've got. Uh, one reason I want to know is I just want to know, but another reason is I'd like to put it in a better uh, stock of some kind. And in order to order a stock for it from various places, I really need to know what kind of gun I'm putting in it uh, as close as possible anyway and anybody out there in uh, YouTube land <laughs> or on any of the uh, forums that I'm on that uh, see this uh, and can help me out with any information I would really appreciate it just post it on my uh, YouTube video or on my uh, firearms forum uh, post or whatever I would really appreciate any help you can give me and if you got a question, if it's for, there's something I can look for uh, that would help, just uh, let me know, and I'll try to find it and get back with you on it. But anyway, for now, for Donnie D's unknown Mauser, at least unknown to me, uh, I'll take any help I can get, guys. This is Donnie D, and I appreciate it. This is Donnie D, and I will see you later. Bye.